Dramatic development in Scottish politics. A 58-year-old man has been arrested this morning in connection with an investigation into the funding and finances of the Scottish National Party. That 58-year-old man is understood at this stage to be Peter Murrell, the husband of Nicola Sturgeon, wow. who, of course, has just departed as First Minister. Uh, Mr Murrell uh, was the chief executive of the Scottish National Party, um, the boss, essentially, behind the scenes. Uh, there he is with Nicola Sturgeon and a huge figure uh, behind the scenes in Scottish politics. Um, he also stood down about two and a half weeks ago um, as a result of a row about membership numbers. He was forced to the stand context. down. Less, he was forced to stand down. Um, but there's been a separate investigation by Police Scotland into the party's finances, which goes back a couple of years now. He is understood to be the man arrested um, in custody and being questioned by detectives from Police Scotland. And we're told that officers are also carrying out searches at a number of addresses as part of the investigation. Uh, they can't comment any further on what's being looked at, but um, dramatic development there and after really a very torrid few weeks for the SNP. These two were seen as the power couple, weren't they, for, a very, for years and years and years within the SNP? Very much so. I mean, Nicola Sturgeon, of course, was First Minister for eight years. Her husband was a big power broker there. They were very much a power couple. And when this investigation into the party's finances began, began a couple of years ago. There were claims that he had made a loan to the SNP in 2021 to help them with, with cash flow uh, issues. Um, there was, um, you know, there, there were questions about these, these two holding such senior positions at, at the same time, but they are really um, very much very, very powerful at the top of the party. Hold that thought, if you would, please. Connor's on the phone for us. Um, Connor, tell us more. Yeah, okay, this is a huge uh, development here in Scotland in the last few minutes. That confirmation from Police Scotland that a 58-year-old man, Sky News understands, is Peter Murrow, the husband of Nicola Sturgeon, has been arrested, is in custody amid this very long going, this year, uh, years of investigation into the funding, the finances of the Scottish National Party. Let's remember Peter Murrow was in charge of the finances, was in charge of the funding of the biggest political party, the SNP in Scotland, uh, since 1999. He resigned just a number of weeks ago, mired in controversy uh, over the party withholding its membership numbers. Uh, later revealed those were dwindling membership numbers. The party had lost 30,000 uh, people in the last uh, year or so. But at the same time, there has been mounting pressure around questions around the finances of the party. Uh, suggestion that Mr Murrell had uh, given a loan to the SNP, something that Nicola Sturgeon was questioned about a number of months ago, a loan of around £100,000. Um, the First Minister at the time, Nicola Sturgeon, said she didn't know anything about that and that was a matter for her husband. At the same time, there have been questions uh, in Scotland in recent years, in recent months, around uh, money, £600,000 or so, that was raised for the campaign for a second independence referendum, uh, money that was fundraised through the grassroots movement to put aside for that second vote, which we now know has not happened and uh, may not happen for a while to come yet. Uh, and there have been questions about whether that money has been spent, where that money has been spent, if that money has been spent. And that is where the police have been investigating. Scotland's Crown Office, the, Procu uh, the prosecution service here in Scotland, has been examining the facts, has been uh, trying to uh, interview members of the senior members of the SNP. But Nicola Sturgeon had been clear just a number of weeks ago during an interview with uh, our political editor Beth Rigby here on Sky News, that neither she nor her husband, as far as she was aware, had been uh, interviewed or questioned at all around this. Well, uh, we now have this dramatic development from uh, detectives. Let me read you a very short piece of that. A 58-year-old man arrested today as a suspect in connection with the ongoing investigation into the funding and finances of the Scottish National Party. The man is in custody, they say, is being questioned. And these searches are being carried out at a number of addresses as part of the investigation. We understand that that man is... 
Peter Murrow. Uh, those searches, well, where will they be taking place? That will be where the focus turns next. Will it be the home that the former First Minister Nicola Sturgeon and her husband Peter Murrow share on the outskirts of Glasgow? Will that be the focus of this inquiry? Will the SNP's headquarters just round the corner from the Scottish Parliament in Edinburgh, will it be raided by detectives as part of this investigation. What other offices will be included in this? This is a very uh, tough moment for the party, I think it's fair to say, and it is a huge test in just the second week of the premiership of the new First Minister of Scotland, Hamza Youssef, who is now the party leader. He said during his initial question and answer session when he became the SNP leader, that he wanted more transparency in the high levels of the SNP. Well, that certainly seems to be happening very, very quickly as soon as he uh, takes charge of the party. This fast-moving investigation, and we know, uh, we understand here at Sky News, that Peter Murrow is in custody and is being questioned right now.